Hey everybody, welcome back to creating flight, uh, creating scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're going to make wigwag lights. Okay, so here I have, I'm opening the sim. I'm not going to actually show you how to do the modeling. I'm going to show you how I made the model. Now, I'm, my computer is going to ding every so often. I'm chatting with somebody who works at an airport. Anyway, um, so we got the, I got the wigwag lights at a hold short at one of the airports that I'm work that I'm my Cleveland Burke Lakefront. Okay, now these lights, they flash back and forth. Okay, so I am going to try to show you how a simple way of making these lights. All right, it's not perfect, but it will give your pilots a sense that at that they're at a hold short, right? Uh, there are a lot of people out there that have made wigwag lights for their airports, and that's they do a fantastic job. But if you want to add them, this is a simple way of doing it. Okay, so basically, it's a in Blender. It's a simple model. You know, you make your can, you make your face plate, and then you put a couple lenses in there, okay, circles for the lenses of the light. And I have a texture that I downloaded that has this kind of glass look, this glass, distorted glass look to it. And I brought it into Krita, all right, simply brought this uh, 2K texture into Krita. And I painted a kind of a transparent um, uh, amber color to it. So when the light's shining on it, it looks like it's an amber light. All right. So I created the can, the face plate, and I put these shrouds or sunshades over the lens. And then I created the lens itself, which is just, it used to be a sphere that I just happened to uh, so if I select one of the lenses and I applied that texture to it but it's just a simple pancaked uh, version of a sphere and then I brought it into the UV editing created the UV unwrap and then wrapped it with that lens image that I created in Krita so the texturing was no different than you add any other texture, okay? Um, but the important thing is the actual lights themselves. So I made two point lights, point and point zero zero one, and each light is independent, okay? And I want them to flash back and forth like this, all right? Now, I'm basically, for these lights, I'm using built into the blender to msfs uh, exporter or the the msfs toolkit is over here for a light in the okay so it's it's simple the point light first is i gave it an amber color and then i toned it down to five watts because they're not gig they're not really intense lights okay so I gave them five watts, and then I made the the radius of that point light to be the same as the radius of the lens that I put in there. Okay, so it's um, it's the diameter is nine inches for the light. Okay, so half of that is the radius, which is 0.375 feet. If you're using empirical, you guys that do metric. You guys will know what those measurements are for your wigwags, okay? So I created the can, the, the plate for the can, and gave them two different textures. And then I created a sunshade over the lens and created the lens by taking a sphere, cutting it at half, and squishing it a little bit. And then I added two point lights. Now for the point lights, like I said, add a color to it, an amber color and then tone down the wattage in this case five watt light because we don't want it real bright then you'll want to select your lights 
and go to the object properties. And if you'll look down here, there is MSFS light parameters, which comes with the toolkit. Flash frequency is how many times a minute that that light is going to flash. All right, so if you see, I have it set for 30 at the moment, 30 times a minute. So every two seconds, that light's going to flash. All right, the flash duration is the time that that light is actually illuminated. In this case, it's a half a second. Okay, something like that. The flash phase, we'll talk about that here in a second. The flash phase is, okay, well, I digress. I said in a second, so let's wait. So if you're doing one strobing light, one flashing light, it's really easy. You set up a point light and you tell it the frequency of its flash and how long you want it to illuminate, all right? That's the duration. Now, if you have multiple lights and you want them to go back and forth, then you want to play with the flash phase, okay? So point, which is the first light, has a flash phase of zero. Point zero zero one, which is the second light, has a flash phase of one. So one light goes on, goes off, then the, when this phase is done, this phase begins, all right? So it's back and forth. Now, and then after you get your lights set up, you just select everything with A and do your normal export object, all right? So I have a, I have a object that I, in my model lib called wigwag and I save my blender file in there too um, then when I export this model okay no different than any other export of any other object that you do okay so you fill out all your forms your texture directory your your GUID your XML all that kind of stuff then you export it and you'll get the bin the G sorry how come I can't? There it is. You'll get the bin, the GLTF, and the XML. All right? There's no animation involved in this particular process. Okay? You can get better results if you animate it. Okay? But I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay? We're just using the built-in MSFS light parameters that comes with the toolkit. Okay? So, we have... We've exported, we have the bin, the GLTF, and the XML, and I built the package, okay? Now we're going to, I'm gonna move this over to here, all right? Now, this is how the lights are flashing back and forth based on that flash frequency, the flash duration, and the phase. So the right light is phase zero. The left light is phase one. Now, if you notice, my lights aren't really, I mean, there's a little pause between each one, okay? There's a little bit of pause where there's no light on at all, okay? It's, it's subtle, but it's there. In real life, it's almost instantaneously, right? Okay, and I believe, and I'm, I'm kind of guessing here, and sometimes you're gonna guess, all right, that this is based on, okay, if this, is a, if this has a frequency of 30, and this has a frequency of 30, they're both blinking every two seconds, and the light stays on for a half a second. So, I have one second gap between these two lights, right? So, what you can do, and I'm experimenting, just so you know, okay? If I go to, if I go to the lights, and 
And, oh, by the way, when I'm in the simulator, um, my me in the corner freezes up. But me in the corner isn't that important, so I'll turn me off completely, okay? But anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, remember, if I'm, frequency of 30 is one flash every two seconds, and each one is every two seconds, then there's a, there's a one second gap in between, right? So if I increase, I'm going to, now I'm going to move this off the screen so we can see the flashing lights, all right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to flash duration and I'm selecting point one uh, light, this l right light. And I'm going to give that one, I'm gonna instead of point five for, frequent, for uh, duration, I'm gonna make it one second, okay? Then I'm going to select the other point light and I'm going to make it also one second. All right, so both of them are one second. Now, hopefully this works live in Flight Simulator. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to select everything in my light and I'm going to go to File and Export. I know you don't see this on the screen, but that's what I'm doing. File, export, then I'm getting my export parameters, and I'm just going to double check everything, make sure I have everything set, which I do, because it, it saves what I did last time. Now I'm going to export. Hopefully my simulator pauses and it updates. There we go. See? Now we look like we're going back and forth, all right? So I increase the duration of each one so there's less of a gap. There's no quiet time between the flashes, all right? So it's, it's simple math. If I have a frequency of 30, that means one flash every two seconds. I had a duration of a half a second. So in phase one, the, the, the right light. Phase two is the second light. So playing with the duration makes that more of a transition between these two lights. Okay, so now we have a nice wigwag light and all we did was used the uh, MSFS parameters settings and increase the duration so there was no quiet time in between okay so that is just a simple way of making a nice wigwag light that you can install in your scenery at your hold shorts all right hey if you guys like this video please subscribe uh, hit the notification bells for further videos and if you feel inclined to support me by buying me a coffee, buymeacoffee.com my, slash my physical world. If you guys learn something new, hey, let's talk about it. If you find this interesting, let's talk about it. If you find it boring, let's talk about it. Hey, you guys have a great day and we will see you on the next video. See you later.